little bit of salt, some ice, and there we are. Tequila, tequila, how oh, I love tequila. Hey, sweetie. Sweetie, sweetie. Come on, got the drinks. It's your favorite. Come and have a little drinky poos. See, I knew you liked it. I knew you did, yeah. I feel rather good dancer, you know. Yes, you are. Daddy's going below to make himself another drinky pool. You want one? Hmm? What, what's that? What's that? <laughs> a double? Ooh, you're all getting daring, aren't you? Well, that's a good boy. Stay there, hmm? Dude. Bit of a food cocktail to go with this one. Oops! Land steady on the pins for some reason. <laughs> yes. Sweetie! How are you? Sweetie! 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 Sweetie, for God's sake! Sweetie! Sweetie, where are you? Sweetie! Sweetie! like a lump in his chair. Never does anything around the house anymore. I gotta do it all. Yesterday, I split a whole half cord of wood all by myself. Ask him to do the simplest thing and he's tired. Like I'm not tired? Ruth, could you step outside? I'd like to hear what Alvis has to say. It, it's no wonder he's gaining weight. I'd gain weight too if I had someone else do all my work for me. Ruth, I'd like to speak to Alvis alone. Why? He can't tell you anything I can't. Can you, Alice? Can you? Nope. And he's got the thermostat cranked up so high, the whole house is like a sauna. 82 degrees. I'm going to die of a heat stroke. you got to do something about him, and quick. What would you like me to do, exactly? <laughs> Fix him. That's all I've been pulling up this week. Ain't a single lobster in any of my traps. 
Ruben and Emmett been pulling up that same stuff too. That crap, whatever it is. Tenophora. What? Gelatinous zooplankton. What? It's a comb jellyfish. Hell, I know it's a jellyfish, but what are they doing up here in December? You're, you're the biologist, you tell me. We've had jellyfish blooms here before, but usually in the summer, like that weird invasion of moon jellies we had last Look, July. All I care about is my bottom line. Where'd all the fish and lobsters go? I don't know. Something's happening out there. Yeah, I just finished it. I'm emailing the file to you as we speak. I'll be on the afternoon ferry. I'll see you tonight. God, get me off this island. Just two burgers. Same thing's happening to me. Last few days haven't pulled in so much as a guppy. Usually expect at least a fish or two, but my nets have been empty. Yeah, that makes three of us. Well, Donnie, his traps came up empty. He's given up for the season. So, Arthur, this is a multi-species drop to have everything collapse at once. The lobster, fish, uh, scallops. You've seen this before? A few years ago, off the coast of Maryland, the whole fishery suddenly collapsed. Sorry to butt in. Sorry, I couldn't help overhearing. What do you think is causing this? Well, it could be a number of things. I mean, basically, our species has declared war on the fish. The fish are losing all these super trawlers and high-tech nets, sonar, climate change. <laughs> now you got them started. <laughs> OK, OK. <laughs> I'll stop. You've all heard my angry biologist rant. Yeah. Well, I, I haven't heard it. I'm, I'm interested. Are you going to put this in your novel, Titus? Well, you never know what will end up in one of my novels. Huh. Maybe you'll make an appearance. <laughs> as long as I'm good looking like George Clooney. Give me a hot love scene with Jesse over here. Get his wife a gun. <laughs> Are you sure you're leaving us today? Well, I finally finished my novel and I gotta get back to New York City. You know, we've been seeing you work on this book for about three weeks now, but you never told us what it's about. Uh, well, it takes place on an island, just like this one. And that's why I came here, because I, I wanted to get all the details right. It's a story about love and jealousy, and a very pretty girl who works at the local diner. Jess, can, can I have a refill, please? What happens to this girl? Well, you're going to have to read the book to find out. Jess? That guy's not coming back, Jess. You know he isn't. Want anything else, Emma? Another chance. With you. Turkey Club! I gotta go. I'm taking my boat out to Rockland this afternoon to get my radar fixed. Would you want to come? We'll be back the day after tomorrow. We can get dinner. Maybe see a movie. like the old days. I have to work. At least come down to the dock. See me off. Jazz, turkey club! your own Christmas present, didn't you? I just wanted to make sure you got the right one. And even though it's not like the best, it does have a 64 gig card and multispectral dynamic imaging. And you remembered I wanted the built-in laser. Just laser put it back under the tree. You don't want to spoil the surprise. What surprise? I already know what you and dad got me. Your dad doesn't.
Go to your room, Ellie. Why? Please, just go to your room. Hey, honey. Sam, we need to talk. Beverly called me this morning. Mitch, it's happening again just as we expected. There's multiple reports from multiple fishermen. The traps and nets are coming up empty. If you could send a few grad students in that size can sonar unit. They're launching a new... Happen? They're launching a new magazine. There's a spot on the masthead for me. We are talking about the collapse of a major fishery. You can't spare even a few grad students? Sam, I'm going back to Boston. Mitch, I'll call you back. I tried to make it here. I really did. Two years on this island. I'm suffocating. I need to get back to the real world. The real world? What does that mean? Some place not surrounded by water, where I can work. I, I can't turn down this job offer. I can come up here every few weeks. Or we can all move back to Boston together. I can't. I can't leave now. I need to be here. What I predicted is finally happening. Right. The fish are vanishing. The ocean is dying. The world is doomed. And what about Ellie? Look, you know how hard change is for her. And she's finally settled in, and she loves it here. Please don't bring Ellie into this. Well, I have to bring Ellie into this. She's my daughter. She's not mine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to finish packing. I made you a corned beef sandwich. Thanks. Are you, uh, are you sure you don't want to come with me? Val needs me. Some new guests might be coming in on the ferry. And you want to spend every last minute with Titus? Have a good trip, Emmett. I'll see you Wednesday. Wait, Jesse. Yeah. One thing you know about me is I always come back. And that's the last patient of the day. Just in time to catch the ferry. Oh, uh, do you have your uh, seasick pills? Right here in my bag. I'll see you in March, Nina. Have a Merry Christmas. Oh, hey, do you have any uh, plans for the holiday? Oh, a glass of wine and a good book. I'm gonna spend it all by myself, and that's fine with me. Okay. Bye. Damn. Power went out.
Look, I've been trying to reach the ferry for an hour, but no one's responding on the radio. Our power's out, and so is cell phone service. You can hear we're on backup generator here. Have you tried email yet? Internet's out. Anyone else got it? It's out at the clinic, too. So no one knows why the ferry didn't show up? When the ferry cancels, it's either weather or mechanical. Well, the weather seems fine to me. So it's got to be mechanical. It'll show up when they fix it. Well, I, I have to get back to New York City tomorrow. My daughter's expecting me for the holidays. Well, I'm expecting an Amazon package tomorrow. Bob don't get a Christmas present, I'm <clears throat> dead meat. You haven't got Bob a Christmas present yet? What's wrong with you? Looks like nobody's getting off the island tonight. I'm going home. I'm sure it'll be here tomorrow. It's better. It's got the monthly shipment of diesel on it. Storage tanks are getting mighty low down on the docks. Looks like you two will need lodging again tonight. I'll make sure their rooms are ready. Thanks. generator in about 15 minutes. I brought you a flashlight and some candles. Thanks, Jesse. I'm sorry about your ferry not showing. That's kind of how it goes, though. Living on an island, can't count on anything. Ferry, power, the weather. Why do you stay here? I always lived here. Never had a good enough reason to leave. I could use one. It's only 40 miles to the mainland. It's not like from here to the moon. Sometimes feels like it. I mean, just about everything comes from the mainland, but without the ferry. This is all we're left with. Outfit, by the way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I wish you'd wear it all the time. I think I can manage that. <laughs> <laughs> Val tells me you're a novelist. Anything I might have read? Uh, only if the name Titus McLean means anything to you? Sorry, it doesn't. I hear you're a doctor. Locum tenens. I'm filling in while they look for someone permanent to take care of the islands. It seems like I spend most of my time on ferries when they're running. It will show up today, trust me. Looks like you'll have to stay for Christmas. 
It wouldn't be so bad, would it? It just makes things harder. I want it to be harder. I don't want it to be so easy for you to leave me. I'm not leaving you. I'm leaving this island. <laughs> it works out the same. Then come with me. Then let's leave together. You can find a new job. Talk to the university. I burned that bridge. Right? And besides, I need to stay here. I need to finish the study. You are chasing a phantom, Sam. You need to move on. Rachel's dead, and whatever she believed... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought her up. I don't know any more than you do. I can't raise the Clara B on the radio and my phone's still out. I can't raise anybody on the VHF. That's never happened before. Emmett went over to Rockland yesterday. He'll let us know what's going on when he gets back. Hey, Doc. Guess you're staying with us another night? Mm -hmm. What can I get you for dinner? Coffee and a BLT. That will be without lettuce or tomato. Fresh vegetables just ran out and bread's not doing so well either. I got about two days worth of diesel left for my generator. I'm gonna have to start cutting down trees just to stay warm. Folks are getting upset. More like thrilled. This is the most excitement that's happened to this island in years. <laughs> hey Sam, you're the science guy. You got a theory on what's going on here? Maybe the undersea cable got Disrupted, dragged up in an anchor or something that could take out the power and the phone line. Doesn't explain why the ferry hasn't shown up. Tucker Island to Gladys Wink. Gladys Wink, where are you? Over. <laughs> Emmett, please answer me. Emmett. Three days without a single word. We can handle the fairy not showing up. It's the not knowing that bothers me. Why hasn't the fairy come? Ooh, into the world. <laughs> Shut up, Reuben. It's not funny. Did it sink? What if there was a disaster we haven't heard about? We're out of bread and milk at home. My kids are eating peanut butter for breakfast. I have enough diesel to run the generator for a few more days, but when that runs out, we're in the dark. <laughs> no heat, no lights. Instead of snickering, Reuben, why don't you head to Rockland and find out what's going on over there? Emmett's already on his way back. He'll let us know what's going on. He was supposed to be back yesterday. Where is he? I don't know. <laughs> Need all them beans lost? You never know. Cause that's the last of them. You should leave some for other folks. 
Who knows when that ferry's gonna run again? I don't see any limit posted. Maybe there ought to be. There's no more evaporated milk. Does anyone have a few cans they can spare for my kids? Anyone? Oh, come on, Lars, give her one of yours. Early bird gets the worm. Oh, damn it, Lars, give her one. No! Oh. Yes! No! Oh. Hey! Stop it! Come on, come on, come on! Uh. Yeah. I'm gonna start eating each other next. <laughs> A crisis like this, you'd think they'd pull together. Instead, they're starting to tear each other apart. They're scared, and I can understand that. It's like the rest of the world's vanished, and we're on our own. At least no one will starve. They can always go fishing. Right, good luck catching anything. Boats will be out of diesel soon. And all the fish have vanished. What? Yeah, no one's picked anything up in weeks. No lobsters, no fish. What's going on out there? It's the question I'm trying to answer. I wrote a paper on the phenomenon a few years ago. Sudden unexplained collapse of a fishery. Or stuck fish, for short. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds funny, but I mean, it's a tragedy. So this is not a new phenomenon. There was a theory proposed that maybe there are apex predators we haven't identified yet. Is this your theory? It's my wife's. I thought Lucy was a journalist. Lucy and I aren't married. My wife, Rachel, she was a marine biologist like me. What? Four years ago, she was lost at sea. We found her research boat adrift with no one aboard. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, she died doing what she loved. That's the one thing I keep telling myself. It's, it's like the only way I can... Um, I lost someone too. That's all I understand. Go. Oh, four stitches. I'm no plastic surgeon, so you may end up with a scar. I'm lucky you happen to be on the island. Oh, I'd like to get off this island. What if the ferry doesn't come? We all descend into mass cannibalism? <laughs> no, listen, I'm serious. <laughs> Look at them. They're scared and they're at each other's throats. Who's going to keep order? Uh, Sam? Uh, there's a problem down on the dock, and uh, they need you. Is that Emmett's boat? Yeah. Only problem is, there's no sign of Emmett. I found her on the shoals over there. Radioed Laws and Arthur. We went searching on the water, but we couldn't find any sign of Emmett or his body anywhere. The day he left, Jess packed him a sandwich. It's still in his duffel bag. He never ate it. I don't think he even made it to the mainland. Maybe you hit a wave? Knocked him down? Sam, there's blood here. He went overboard. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Trouble is, the morning Emmett left, the water was glass. There were no waves. What is that? I don't know. Looks organic. Smells organic. It's like the sea. He was such a smart kid. Lived his life on the water. I, I don't understand it. How, how could he? How could he go overboard? The ocean takes even the careful ones. Gosh, Jesse. What? So Emmett never made it to the mainland, and we still don't know where the damn ferry is. Well, there's got to be a logical explanation. You keep saying that, Sam, but what is the explanation? Why isn't anyone trying to reach us? Has the whole world forgotten we're here? 
Someone needs to go across and find out what the problem is. Emmett already tried. Look what happened. My generator's dead. My power's off. If you're going, Lars, I'm coming too. My kids and I are coming too. We've had enough. Hold on there. My boat's not big enough. Well, I've got enough fuel to get across the water. I can carry some of you. But Lars, you and I should go out together. Keep an eye on each other in case one of us gets into trouble. Lee's running out of his hot pills. He needs to go. I called dibs first. People, people, we can't fit the whole island in two boats. Some of you are going to have to stay here. Why don't you all just draw lots? It's the only fair thing to do. Are you kidding? It's got to be priorities. Sick folks first, then women and children. Hey, what is this? The Titanic? I need to get off this island, too. Not more than my children do. If you want to go to the mainland, be on the pier at 3 o'clock. We'll figure out then who gets to go on board. Looks like there won't be any room for us. Well, let me check with Arthur. His boat's up on the North Shore. Maybe he can get you across. Worrying about your dumb fish. The fish is my job. I mean, maybe this seems Okay, Ellie. Whatever happens between me and Lucy, you and I will manage. Just the two of us. Is it because of me? What? The reason Lucy's leaving. No. No. This is between me and Lucy. If anyone's at fault, it's me. Because of the fish. The fish? She says that's all you think about. Where are the fish? Dad, who cares about the stupid fish? No one but you. Your mom did. You know, when you were six years old, we took you to the Boston Aquarium. You wouldn't leave. You stuck that jellyfish tank tight in the limpet. You remember that? Yeah. We stayed there three hours. The truth is, your mom didn't want to leave either. She was like a fish herself. Never happy out of water. She would have loved it here. Not like Lucy. No. Lucy's different. You can wait here. I'm just going to go talk to Arthur, but I'll be right back. Arthur! Arthur! 
Arthur! Arthur! In there! Dinner. What? I'm guessing his last meal was dinner, specifically pork and beans. I can see the remains here in the stomach, which would place time of death sometime last evening. Would have been soon after he ate, because this is still pretty much undigested. Jesus. You're a biologist. Haven't you dissected animals? Yeah, but this animal shook my hand last week. And hello. We have a capsule. Blue. Arthur was taking cardism, a blue capsule. Who the hell would have done this? I sliced him up and thrown him on the rocks. I can't imagine anyone on this island killing Arthur. I'm not sure this was murder. These intestines look like they were ripped apart, not sliced. Do you have any bears on the island? A uh, bear would have to swim 40 miles to get here. Well, what do you think happened to him? I don't know. Clearly there was a struggle. There's blood everywhere. Let's take a look at that blue substance. Where did you find it again? On the axe blade. It looked like the same stuff we found on Emmett's boat. Those are blue. I've never seen blood that color. I have. It's an adaptation to cold water. Instead of hemoglobin, some marine animals have blood with hemocyanin. It's copper-based. They can survive sub-freezing temperatures all the way down to Antarctica. Marine animals? The water. Everyone should stay off the water. We need to stop those boats. It's too late. Lars and Reuben left an hour ago. Who went with them? Most of the island. Tucker Island calling Anya. Anya, are you there? Over. Lars, are you there? Lars, are you there? They should still be in radio range. Lars, come in. Over. Do you really want them to turn around and come back? They must be halfway to the mainland by now. They need to know what happened to Arthur. We don't know what happened to Arthur. Lars, are you there? Over. This is Anya. What's up, Val? Over. Lars, it's Sam. You folks all right out there? Yeah, we just passed Bird Rock. No problems. What about Reuben? His boat's right behind me. And here's the good news. There's plenty of fish out here. My sonar just lit up like Vegas. What do you see on sonar? It looks like a giant shoal of fish moving right beneath us, about 30 meters down. Big ass echoes. Could be bluefin. Are you sure they're fish? What else could they be? Lars, listen to me. Get to the shore as soon as you can. Just head for the closest landfall, even if it's just a pile of rocks. Just get folks off the boats. Why? Just get off the water! Jesus Christ, what the hell is that? Lars! Hey, hold on! And don't let him go over! Hold on! Get off the way! Lars! Lars! That's 
that's it. That's the last of our diesel. From now on, we're in the dark. What happened out there, Sam? I don't know. If you told them to get off the water, you must have known something was going to happen. Well, I was just guessing after what happened to Emmett and then to Arthur. What did happen to Arthur? You looked at the remains. What, what did you see? It looks like he was ripped apart by some sort of animal. But this happened aboard his boat on the water. This is straight out of your research paper. What paper? I wrote it four years ago on the collapse of fisheries. Tell them the rest, Sam. Rachel and I first saw it happen here. It was December four years ago in Cape Hatteras. A uh, sudden and drastic drop off in catches. And we tried to hunt down reasons. We tested for toxins and temperature shifts and dinoflagellates. Dino what? Red tide. And we found nothing to explain it, but it was clear there was some sort of marine catastrophe. Everything vanished from crab to fish to dolphins. You said that was the first time you saw it happen? So what's it's happened since then? A year later, a colleague in Dover observed the same thing. And a year after that, it happened in Nantucket. So we thought it might be the Gulf Stream phenomenon. Maine isn't on the Gulf Stream. No, but the Gulf Stream and the Labrador Current collide to create one of the richest fishing grounds in the world, the Gulf of Maine. And I predicted this is where it would happen next, and I was right. Because something is changing, something that's causing the fish population to collapse. Like in Delaware and Nantucket. And it turns out in other places too, there have been reports from the Azores and from Cape Verde. And the pattern is always the same. A sudden disappearance of fish, local economic devastation, and then the fishermen start to die. From what? Everyone assumed the deaths were accidents or suicide, but the bodies were never found because it always happened at sea. You said you had a theory for what's causing this? Rachel believed that there's a marine predator that we haven't identified yet. It's an apex predator that migrates with the fish. And, and it kills the fishermen? <laughs> Wouldn't somebody have reported this? That's why no one took it seriously. But Rachel did. Because she spotted it on sonar, something that she couldn't identify. And the day that she disappeared, she was out on the water looking for it. Lars saw something on sonar too. He said he looked like a giant shoal of fish. Which means there's more than one. <laughs> or it's really fucking big. Oh my god. Not so boring here after all. Maybe you should stay and cover the story like any good journalist. Maybe I should. For the sake of the story. <laughs> Let's turn out to be right under my nose. Captain Ahab and the white whale. What? That's what you called me once. Captain Ahab chasing a monster that would drag me under the waves. And it did. It cost me my job. It brought us to this rock. When I heard you explain everything tonight, I finally understood the obsession. It's still about Rachel, isn't it? You're on this island because of her. Because you're compelled to find this thing that she was searching for. This thing that killed her. I was never really quite sure it existed. But now I know she was right. I believe her. So do I.
always despised beans. Better learn to like them, Titus, as we're running out of everything else. Do you mind if we bring some of our supplies over to Nina's? She told me this morning that she's running low on food. Sure. She can move in here if she wants. Ruth and Elvis, too. Might be smart for us to pool our resources while we figure out what the hell's going on. This for one of your novels, how would you explain it? <laughs> We'd all wake up and find out it was just a nightmare. <laughs> Pretty lame for a writer. You and that fire going, it's gonna get cold in here. I'm gonna need more blankets. I'll get them. I just hope this story has a happy ending. There's no such thing as a happy ending. You're full of sunshine and light, Doctor. I've seen too many endings. Some are painful, some are tragic. None of them are happy. That's why I prefer fiction. Why come all the way out here to write? Because... My book takes place on an island and I wanted authenticity. Pulled out a map, searched the main coast for the most remote island I could find and this was it. Island Zero. It's, um, it's my title. What does it mean? The island where all things can be rebooted. New lives, new relationships. New possibilities. I got about a week's worth of pork and beans for you. Stay in the car. But stay Dad. Stay with Jesse. Both of you just stay in the car. But Dad. Thank you. 
Well, you could have knocked first. Are you okay? Alice ain't up to speed, but I'm doing fine, considering. Sounds like a bear hibernating. 82 degrees in here, and he needs all them blankets. Ruth, you can't stay here. You and Alvis need to leave the house right now. Why? Where are we going? To the inn. Everyone on the island needs to stay together. Dad? Go back to the truck, Ellie. Ruth, Nina's dead. Something got into her house, smashed through the window. Dad, I need to show you something. Ellie recorded this a couple of nights ago. And it happened at the water's edge right behind our house. Why are we only hearing about this video now? Because it was her Christmas present. She wasn't supposed to be using it. What kind of camera is this? It's a thermographic camera. The images come from infrared radiation. You can see temperature differences as little as 0 0.07 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Definitely her kid. <laughs> Here. This is when it happens. What the hell was that? Could it be a, a bear or a, a cougar? No. So on this camera, cold temperatures are blue and warm temperatures are orange. Play it again, Ellie. Look what attacks the deer, what color it is. It's cold-blooded. Amphibian? Possibly, but even octopuses come out of the water to hunt and they could stay out for as long as an hour. So this is what killed Arthur and Nina and Emmett. It's cold-blooded, and it came from the water. How far is Nina's house from the water? About 100 yards. We're closer than that right now. How'd you learn to do that? Take apart guns. I've spent some time around weapons. You mean like hunting? In a way. Lucy won't let me near any guns. Good for her. This pistol is worthless, but the rifle and shotgun seem to be in working order. Are there any other weapons on the island? Between me and Alvis, that's all we've got. What about ammo? There's only four bullets for the rifle. Arthur used to hunt. Maybe there's something at his house. I better get over there before it gets dark. You shouldn't be out there alone. I'll go with you. really exists, why hasn't anyone reported it? Well, new marine species are discovered all the time. We're talking about something that can rip a man apart. One of these must have washed ashore somewhere. No, not necessarily. It could be like whale fall. Like what? Well, when a whale dies at sea, it doesn't wash on shore. It sinks. Their carcasses can end up in abyssal zones five, 6,000 feet down where a complex ecosystem feeds on the corpse. And the deep seabed is just littered with the bones of whales. And who knows what else? Found some. Here, look at this. Don't run down the battery, Ellie. I'm just showing him how to use it. 
I've never been good at roughing it. <laughs> I hate camping. Can't stand the ocean. I always get seasick. How did you end up with a marine biologist? <laughs> I interviewed him for a Father's Day story on single dads. One thing led to another. So you never met his wife? No, Rachel had died two years before. Sam says Ellie looks just like her. It's like Rachel's ghost is always with us. How can I compete with that? Now why do you have to compete? You can spot animals that you'd never see with a regular camera. See that orange thing up in the branches? I think it might be a squirrel. So how, how long does the battery last on this thing? I charged it up yesterday. Plus I have a spare battery. Even when it's pitch black outside, you can still see. What is it? Kid, what is it? There's something coming. Oh my God. What the hell was that? Where is it? Why, why can't we see it? They'll be back. This house is about as far from the water as we can get. Who lived here? McCarty's. After their kid drowned, they left the island. Never came back. A girl. Titus, are you ready to go? The others are already headed up the hill. Titus? Titus? Down at the end, you said they'll be back. 
<laughs> like you already know what's gonna happen. Have you seen one of these things before? I didn't see it exactly, but I've seen what they do. How? When? It was uh, on freighter in the Pacific, the, the Dundee. Uh, we were in the middle of nowhere. The dolphins had been following us for days. Then they vanished, the sea went calm. We lost Bill the first night on night watch. Nobody saw him go overboard, he was just gone next morning. The next night, Jake was gone. On the third night, on the third night. What happened on the third night? I was in the engine room on duty. When I heard the gunfire, I thought there'd been pirates attacking us. <laughs> when I got up on deck, there was no one left. Blood everywhere, on the bridge, and the galley, and crewmen's quarters. Twelve men gone. I was the only one left. You said you saw it, Albus. What did you see? Oh, uh, just on deck, a shimmer, uh, like TV static, uh, shivering, and then I heard the Navy copter coming in, answering our distress call. The Navy asked me what had happened. <laughs> I couldn't tell them. I didn't know. That was, that was 30 years ago. There should be enough there to tide us over for a few days. Where's Jessie? Isn't she here? I thought she was with you. I didn't see her. I thought she came with you. I'll go look for her. I'm the one who screwed up. I'll go with you. I'll take the shotgun. No, they're gonna need a weapon here. You take the camera, just watch for anything coming at us. Cause it's the only way we'll see them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Be careful. I'll hold down the fort. Jesse. Jesse, are you here? There's nothing. It's clear. Sorry, it's, it's a mouse. I gotta call the health department. <laughs> What do you see in there? Anything? No. Nope. It's 
clear. He killed Jesse and left her hanging on the porch like bait. And they gutted her. Why? What are you really doing on this island? He's got a password protected, Dad. I can't get into it. What's the password? Guess. What's the fucking password? You might want to cooperate. <laughs> or what? You'll shoot me? What about the Hippocratic Oath? You're a doctor. You know what's good about being a doctor? After I shoot you, I can keep you from bleeding to death. A well-placed tourniquet should do it. Stop! For God's sake, what are you doing? I'm okay with this. You, Alvis? Got no problem. Have we all lost our minds? You didn't see Jesse's body and what they did to her. And what he did to her. And I need to know why. Okay, Ellie, go into the bedroom. But Lucy. Just go, please. And shut the door. Say goodbye to procreation. Uh, Palmyra 415. That's the password? No caps. Isn't that the name of his novel? This isn't a novel. This is a scientific report. Sudden drop in fish stocks. Next event expected at latitude 43.76. Island zero. What island zero? You are. We are. This place, this rock. We're sitting at ground zero for the invasion. I was hoping I'd be miles away by now, but things coalesced faster than expected. You knew what was gonna happen. You knew people would start dying. I couldn't be certain, but the data was there. What data? Your late wife's data, as a matter of fact. Four years ago, when she brought up the possibility of an unidentified apex predator, most people laughed. And some of us didn't, because we had been monitoring these incidences for decades. Did you never wonder why your research funding was yanked so precipitously? Because we knew too much. We had to be silenced. This is a new species. A major scientific discovery. It should be shared with the world. <laughs> it's the journalist talking. Why would you keep it a secret? Because it's exploitable, right, Titus? You want it for yourselves. Oh, I know how you people think. These creatures can't be detected with the naked eye. On sonar, they just look like a harmless school of tuna. They're amphibious, killing, eating machines. Gee, who might be interested in that? The military. You think? You were military, weren't you, Dr. Barrow? I can always spot an ex-soldier. That's why you're so comfortable around firearms. Did... 
Did you serve in Iraq or in Afghanistan? Both. So then you know what war does to human bodies. That's why I left. I got sick of seeing soldiers ripped apart. That is exactly why we need these creatures on our side, working with us. Problem is, you may have destroyed any chance to negotiate with them because you went and fucking shot one. That thing ripped Val apart. You think we're gonna negotiate with them? We're making first contact with an intelligent marine species. My job is to be the diplomat. We cannot kill any of them. Do you all understand that? Do you? You're negotiating with fish. They're not fish. They have a complex language and social structure. They hunt cooperatively. Their brains are every bit as large and neurologically complex as ours. And their use of echolocation is beyond... You, you cannot possibly know this much about them. Unless you have one in captivity. We caught one nine years ago after an oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. It was sick. It was unable to camouflage itself. After that discovery, we went looking for more of them. Captured another one uh, off the Carolinas, a third off Cape Hatteras. Like so many other species, they're migrating northward. It's climate change. Rising temperatures and overfishing has caused them to move northward in search of food, which has brought them right here to the world's richest fishing waters. Island Zero, where it all begins. People live here. You can't keep this a secret. They can keep anything a secret. All them people dead. And we're next, aren't we? Damn you! God damn you! Shut up. They're coming! A lot of them! Oh my god. Let me loose. You need me, Sam? You shut up! You're all gonna die if you don't listen to me. I can negotiate with them! You have to let me go! Only negotiating's gonna be with this here shotgun! If you kill one of them, you kill all of us. You have to let me go. I can talk to them! They're in the basement. I don't know how they got in! For God's sake, let me talk to them. Start talking. I need my laptop. Cut me loose! Talk now, Titus, or I'm pulling the trigger. We've been studying their language for years, and we think this means hello. You think? Well, we're not entirely sure. So you might be telling him his mom wears army boots. It stopped. It's thinking. It's working. It's not attacking. What happens after hello? Negotiations begin. What are you telling it, Titus? What the hell are you telling it? What the hell are you telling it? 
I think he just told him dinner is served. And we're dinner. The attic. Get to the attic! Billy! I don't know. Oh my God. I have no food or water in here. All I have to do is wait and starve us out. It's me! Elvis? Oh my God! It's, it's Elvis! It's Elvis! take their dead with them. Why is Elvis still alive? Why didn't they attack him? Probably because his hide's too damn tough. <laughs> Would you want to eat him? Sam, come up and take a look at this. Look at the skin on this thing. It's shiny, almost reflective. Some kind of Protective armor? This skin isn't for protection. It's for bending and refracting light. The military is trying to develop something just like this. That's why we can't see them. Instead of changing the color of its skin like a chameleon or octopus, I mean, these things have evolved a completely different way to disappear. Prey would never see it coming. The ultimate advantage for a predator. Dad, my camera battery's almost dead. Shut it down. We won't be able to see them coming. Then we'll just have to keep them out. And I'm gonna reinforce the boards again. And then what? We stay here and starve? Well, at least we won't freeze to death. Got all that wood to burn. <laughs> Eat. That's it. That must be it. What? The reason Alvis is still alive. He stayed near the stove. And they can't tolerate heat. And that's why they're moving north like the other species. You were the only survivor on that cargo ship because you were in a hot engine room. According to this research, the creatures are attracted to noise and to light. But there's no mention of heat or any specific temperature that repels them. 82 degrees. How do you know that? Cause that's how we set the thermostat at home. 
They didn't come to our house. They went to Nina's instead. So we're gonna heat the place up. We're gonna get it nice and toasty and keep it warm in here. Keep them at bay until someone rescues us. I don't think anyone's coming to rescue us, Sam. It's all here in the report. Their plans for the island. Isolate, quarantine. And eliminate. I thought they wanted these creatures alive. Why would they kill them? This isn't about the creatures. It's about us. What they have planned for us. That's why they cut off the island. The ferry, the phones. We're the only ones left who know what happened. They're gonna wait until we're dead. The world would find out. There'd be questions. And they'd have the answers. A way to explain how we all died. A fire in the village, or Sam here went berserk and slaughtered us all. If no one's coming to rescue us, then what are we gonna do? What was it like in the army? Hot. I don't like hot. Did you ever shoot anyone? Why are you asking? You think it's fun shooting people? I just wondered. I've never even held a gun. Lucy's scared of them, and my dad says he won't shoot anything because he's a biologist. A gun is a tool, Ellie. That's all. Like a chainsaw. Someone can get hurt if you're careless. I'm not careless. Would you really have shot Titus in the you-know-where? I guess we'll never know, will we? Shouldn't you be sleeping? You aren't. Someone has to stay alert. Can I lie down next to you? What do they want? The creatures? Probably what everybody wants. To stay alive, to breathe, to eat, have kids. How come you don't have any kids? That's a personal question. I'm sorry. I just think you'd be a cool mom. Not a sound. I know they're out there somewhere. I don't know what they're waiting on. <sighs> Not hungry enough yet. Maybe we scared them. You did kill a few. Sam, there's only seven bullets yet. It's not enough. I know.
I wasn't there when she was born. Rachel went into labor three weeks early. I was at a conference in Oregon. I missed watching her come into the world. <laughs> now, now I'm going to have to watch her. I'm not going to let it happen. Not to you. Waiting around, letting them choose the moment. There's nothing else we can do. I read the Island Zero report. They can only be out of the water for an hour at a time. And they hunt at night. If they do attack, it will be in the next five hours. I've got every window boarded up. But even if we hold them off tonight, what about tomorrow night and the night after? In a week, we'll be out of food and water. <laughs> Maybe it's the soldier in me, but starving to death is not how I want to go down. Are you suggesting we attack them? We know they're attracted to light and to noise. That's how they locate their prey. They don't need to find us. They know where we are. So let's roll out the welcome mat. I mean, what if this is the only population on Earth that would be killing the last of their species? Good!
my dad. Where's Lucy? <laughs> dad? Dad? Quiet. Quiet. You can't leave him. Go back. We have to go back. No, I'm in charge. Soldier. My job is to keep you alive, and I am going to do that. You got that? That is what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. Away now. Can't you turn on the engine? No engine. No noise. There might be more of them. We have to be silent. It's 40 miles to the mainland. You've gone a rope the whole way? I can do it. I can do it. 